My Green Bay Packers first round draft choice, Dayton Jones. Good afternoon, Dayton. How you doing? Good afternoon. I'm living the dream. Now we've got to get this out of the way first. We've decided that your name is going to be that one instead of Dayton. So whenever you get a sack, people say, which one? That one. Who got that, who got that running back? I love it. I'm loving that right there. So, so we don't want to do anything that you don't like. So you approve of that one. I approve of it. All right, we can go on from there. How did you get I your kind name? Of, I kind of want one of them cool, like, chants, like, you know, like, get, like, a sack or something, the whole stadium, like, you know, they always, like, like he's, you know how he's doing, like, he's Miller or something. Everybody's like, yeah. I kind of want something like that. That'd be cool. Well, they'll be going, that one, that one, that one. That's not that's not good enough for you? No, that's, that's good enough. Right. If Green Bay loves it, I love it. All right. Well, we don't know if, it, we don't know if they're going to love it. We love it. Plus, yeah. it's hard to remember your name. Come on, why couldn't you be Freddie or something? Uh, where'd you get, how'd you get the name? I don't even know. I, I asked my mom that all the time. She said, uh, it just came to me. She said they were going to name me James, but, you know, they decided not to. She just said Dayton, Dayton to Beach, Florida, Dayton. Oh. I guess that was her dream, her dream place to live. Now, cause she's got to have an answer. She can't say I just came up with it. I, I think I like the Daytona thing, huh? Daytona sounds pretty cool, but I like Daytona. It's pretty unique. All right. You're Daytona to your mom and everybody else. To us, you when you do something good, you're that one. Uh, I, know, that's I, ch I changed my Twitter name to that one. You did. Nicely done. Uh, yeah. Now, I know you've been in UCLA, and there are a million things going on. You understand. You're coming to the Green Bay Packers. You are bigger than God. You realize that. Now, everything you do. What you have for breakfast, how often you floss your teeth, what tire pressure you have in your car. Everybody wants to know all those things. You up for that? Oh, yeah, I'm up for it. Uh, I'm already loving the Green Bay Packers fans. Uh, I can't wait to get there on Thursday. Uh, hopefully the city embraces me as long as all the other draft picks. And uh, I just can't wait to win championships there. Talking with Dayton Jones. So, as if you were President of the United States... You now have your State of Dayton Jones speech. You now have an open mic to talk as long as you want to tell everybody who you are and what you're like. President, defensive end, 3-4, that one, Dayton Jones, the stage is yours. Hey, thank you for having me in the office to all my true Green Bay Packers fans. Uh, can't wait to win big games. Bring championships back home to Lambeau Field, uh, and play a, be a part of the great, the greatest defense in the NFL. So I'm good right there. That, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's all. That's all. No, I gotta, I gotta do all the follow up questions. It's ESPN Wisconsin, ESPNWisconsin.com with Dayton Jones. Uh, they told us this story like you took nine buses and then walked uphill both ways to school to get through the academics. To get yeah, to you? my magic carpet into my classroom. Yes. Tell us the truth. Oh, that's the truth. Uh, what you, what you hear in, uh, papers is the truth. You know, uh, I lived in Compton. You know, I grew up in Compton. I lived in Compton. You know, we used to always move everywhere. And, um, my mom picked up, we picked up and moved out of Compton to LA, not too far from the USC campus. And, uh, it's about 45, a 45 minute car ride to, uh, Compton High School. But, you know, my mom wasn't able to take me to school early in the morning. You know, she, I had a younger sister she had to tend to, and I had to be out the house pretty early. So what she did was got me a bus pass, and, you know, I had to learn the whole transit route, you know, in order to get to school. So it was, it was real tough. I wake up at about 5 a.m. in the morning, and I'll, get, I'll take one bus to the next bus to the train station. Then I walk to school, but, you know, it's, a, it's, it's about 100 schools. On the way to my high school, so the bus, the buses used to be packed. They stopped at every stop, so it took a, it was like a two-hour trip every day there and back home. Why'd you do it? Because I love I love my high school. I love playing playing for my team, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't let my guys down. You know, I worked so hard. You know, uh, I didn't play football until I got to high school, and the high school I played for was coming to high school, so. I couldn't just get up. I, I couldn't just pick up and move because there was so many times I wanted to quit and just go back to basketball. Now you mom because all the, the guys on my team, I, be, I became new friends. They, they became more than friends. They became my family. So I felt like I owed them. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I was committed to the team so much that I couldn't let them down. 
your mom moved you, I assume, for safety, correct? Uh, no, I mean, she just moved us to put us in a better situation. Uh, and and it, it, was, it was really well, you know. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. And, uh, but then you're you know, going back to where she took you from. Yeah, it, it was, you know, uh, she, she, you could say she moved us for safety, but, you know, we found, I feel like we found like a better situation for right. us. And uh, it, it all helped. It all worked out for us. I'm not working for the chamber, but my understanding is Compton's about as tough as it gets. A lot yeah, of people Compton not only... Tough as nails, uh, but at the same time, you know, me playing football and, you know, the city starting to embrace me and other guys on my high school. You played football for Compton High School, and you were, you were pretty much playing for the Green Bay Packers. Really? <laughs> not not as quite, not quite, but, you know, they really, they, they love... I, mean, I went to Compton High School. Uh, that was the city's team, so everyone loved it. If you could be compared to one player, when you're done playing football in the NFL, who would you want it to be? Mm, one player. Who's your who's your star? Who's your hero growing up? Who did you admire? Who would you my, want to be? My hero was uh, Michael Strahan growing up. But I love the nastiness of Reggie White. Oh, man, it's nothing like it. He's, he's a nasty guy. Uh, the minister, the players, man, what can you say? You can't really say too much about him. Man. He was a, a great player. It's a great player I could model myself after uh I wish he was still alive so he could take me under his role, you know. But, you know, he's a great player. And when you think about me, I want guys to, you know, think of me as being that type of player, a player that wants to be the best to ever play the game of football and can't stand, can't, I can't stand losing. I just, you know, I want to be, I like, I like being great. You want to be the best that's ever played? I want to be the best to ever play football. I don't want to be the best defensive lineman this year or tomorrow. I want to be the best ever player the game of football. That's that's my ultimate goal. Seriously, come on, Dave. We we like you if you we like you if you be good. You know why? Because God gave me the, the opportunity to play this game, and you know I I've had an injury where I had to sit out a, a whole entire season, and and I cried for months, and I I had I had to overcome a lot of adversity. But I asked myself all the time, what do I want out this game of football? And uh, you know Jerry Rice's son went to my. Uh, he went to UCLA with me, Jerry Rice Jr. And I, I, I talked to Jerry Rice a few times, and he was just mm-hmm. like, you know, I did what no one else wanted to do. And I was just like, man, how bad do I really want it? So mm-hmm. I try to put myself in those in, in those guys, the great footsteps, you know, to work as hard as I possibly can, not to look ahead, just take it one step at a time so that I can reach my ultimate goal. You cried when you couldn't play. You said when you had to sit out a year? Yeah, I had to sit out an entire fo- football season as a, as a sophomore. I used to I broke my foot. But, uh, you know, I talked to Jerry Rice about that year, and, you know, he basically told me, uh, you know, if you want it bad enough, you'll, you'll overcome this situation. Uh, and when you get back on your high horse, you'll, uh, you'll know, you, you'll, you'll respect the game much more. And, and that I did. And, I told myself, you know, I saw that he was considered the greatest football player to ever do it. I said, mm-hmm. why, why not me? You know, he's not the biggest, the fastest or the strongest guy, but he, for some reason he's the, considered the best, you know? I got you. And Tell- the, the, reason, the reason being is because he worked harder than mm-hmm. everybody else, and, you know, that's what I want to be. I wanna, when this game's over, I want to be considered the greatest football player to ever play the game. Those some lofty standards. But you said when you were sitting out there, Sitting out that year, you cried. You cried physically. Oh, I cried. I was hurt because I put so much, so much work into into going into my junior season, and it was just when that happened, man. I felt like I let the team down. I couldn't even eat. I felt like I couldn't even look my teammates in the eyes or eat with them because I felt like I wasn't putting the same work as those guys anymore. And man, it was just it was just hard to watch. You know, it was tough to watch my 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 brothers go go to war, and I couldn't be a part of it. So I was. I was just hurt and devastated. I told myself when I when I came back I was gonna be, you know, in better shape and my physique was gonna be better. I was gonna be stronger and I was gonna try to you know dominate for the team. Talking with Dayton Jones. So you're coming to the Green Bay Packers. You're the first round draft choice. You want to be among the greatest to have ever played. Now you are a scout. Scout Dayton Jones, being honest about. Your strengths and weaknesses. What's the best thing about you as a football player? Uh, the best thing about me as a football player, being able to 
lined up in multiple positions, uh, whether it was the outside linebacker, the four-eye defensive end, five technique, playing strong side defensive end, it, whether it's a 4-3 over a tight end, being able to come in in nickel situations, a retro, retro for the guards, uh, I can rush over centers. Um, and my, my strength is playing in the run game, uh, being disruptive in the run game, uh, penetrating gaps and getting TFLs and uh, being disruptive in the backfield. But in the pass game, you know, I'm, I'm still good in the pass game. My strength in the pass game is being able to rush from anywhere on the field, whether it's left or right, over the guard on third down, over a tackle, rush on the edge. That's my strength. And what's your, what are your weaknesses? What do you have to get better at to be as good as you want to be? Oh, just, uh, studying the game. You know, as the game come around, uh, you know, adapting to, adapting, uh, I say for me, adapting to the next level. That, that'll probably be my weakness. Uh, uh, probably just, uh, going against, you know, guys who are 12 year vets. Uh, you know, trying to like pick their brain, see how they're going to block me. So, then that'll probably be one of my weaknesses this year because you know, guys have played twelve and ten years in the league and they know all the tricks of the trade. And uh, you know, we're going to we're going to get after it. Did you want to play for any team in particular? Oh, not at all. Uh, whoever uh, drafted me, man, I was, was going to be my favorite, my best, the best. Like I said, uh, growing up, I loved. Uh, I used to love coach. You know. And uh, I used to love watching Dwight Finney play, but then I started watching uh, the New York Giants play like every week, and you know I fell in love with watching Michael Strahan play in the way like the New York Giants defensive line play, and like you could tell their connection as a unit was just unbelievable because they won games just with their defensive line, and I've always wanted to be a part of a great defensive line, and now we have a great defensive line that. On the Green Bay Packers, I'm just so excited to get there. You know, got the Ryan ticket. We got BJ Raji, including myself now. So, oh man, I can't wait. Clay Matthews and Nick Perry. It's going to be crazy. The entire state of Wisconsin can't wait either. Can't could, wait. Bart Scott Bush. Could have been Freddie. Could have been Daytona. We call him that one, but you are Daytona Jones, determined to be one of the best of all time. Correct. Yes, sir. Good luck. Look forward to watching it. Thanks for coming Thank on the you. show. And you all bet. my uh, true Packers fans out there, follow me on Twitter at I am underscore that underscore one. How many followers you got now? Uh, I think like seven thousand. Ah, uh, you, 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 you'll be. I, I looked at BJ. He had like five hundred thousand. Though you'll be there. Like, you'll be there. Said, if you, I, said, I mean, come on. What's up? What's up, Packer Nation? Yeah, if you are that one, if you are that one, you'll get to half a mil. Uh, yeah. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, Dayton.